同学们，大家好，又见面了。大多数同学问我的问题都是 How can I get more interviews？ 那今天我们就来看一下，我是不是能帮你们解决这一个问题。我们会从几个不同的层次来 talk about this problem layer by layer。OK？ 大多数中国同学写的简历都是有这个问题。They're too task-oriented with no details whatsoever about a project. The coder 根本就不知道你的能力是强还是弱。So the problem with this write-up is that the action verbs are pretty weak. Visualization is not really a skill set of itself. Everyone can do visualization, right? And applied regression models. Once again, applied is a pretty weak action verb. 这几乎就像一个素描，我只看到一个大概的概念，我根本没有看清里面的细节。So the second problem is that students are simply not highlighting the right skill set, assisting with research, filing data entry, or organizing financial statements. These are simply not the skill set companies are looking for in a data analyst. These are way too entry level and are more suited for Administration-related jobs, right? This is way, way, way too entry level. So the third problem is that you simply mismatch the skill set because you're using the wrong business terms. Those skill sets that she packaged in this one sentence don't seem to fall under the same job category. So refined companies website. This is more the job of a web designer. And analyzing data to create user profiles—that's more the job of a web data analyst. And also, she used the term for future customer consultants. I have no idea what customer consultant means. I think what she's trying to say is probably consultants serving customers. I've never heard of. Customer consultants. I think she's probably translating it from Chinese to English. So, 同学们，你们要注意了。有时候从中文翻译成英文，这个意思有可能完全会变掉。You gotta be very careful. For this bullet point, is the skill set more on data analysis or reporting or dashboard building or maybe automation? It's really not clear. For this bullet point, it's even more confusing. In what capacity did she carry out this task? Was she serving as a consultant, or this increase in the consultation rate is enabled by her analysis and insights into the customer groups she's serving? And as we read her write-up further. It further confirms to me that she was mixing up different skill sets, and these skill sets are not really what companies are looking for in a data analyst. So, all in all, this project will confuse the recruiter a lot because she's really not sure what skill set are you trying to highlight. Is it data analysis? Is it web traffic analysis? Is it writing, or is it your consultation? Skill set. 还有一个我经常发现的问题是，一份简历上，呃 ，target too many skill sets. Let's look at this one. The first project is about reporting, and I like it. The second one is about model building, which is fine. So the third one is more about building databases on AWS. And falls under data engineering. My question to this student would be: What position are you targeting? Are you looking to become a data engineer, or are you looking to become an analyst? I felt that you have a little bit of both, but you did not dig deeper behind any of the projects. Therefore, this resume also sort of falls a bit flat in terms of impact. So many students will ask Becky, "Can you help me change the resume? They think that changing the resume can get them an interview. But it's not. The content is still the most important thing. The content is still the most important thing. The 
，呃，如果你的内容不改的话，或者你的内容不到位的话，还是换汤不换药，对你拿到面试几乎是没有任何的帮助。所以我觉得，要花时间改写简历，还不如把你的 project 做对了，然后把你的 project 做深，这样你才能够把 resume 上需要的这些知识点都点到。Recruit 最重要的是看 match， 就是说。他的 job description 上面的 skill set 和你发过来的简历是不是配对？其实你们的问题是在。你们读一个 job description， 你们是读不太懂的。很多同学就是一份简历，他发一百两百份，但是效果甚微，因为你没有针对性。I think the problem is in the fact that you don't really understand the business jargons. You also don't quite understand how business runs in this country. Um, for example, let's talk about marketing. What are the different marketing programs there are? Um, right now, what companies, how companies are using marketing to do customer acquisition? Or customer conversion, and in terms of product, what do you mean when they say product feature? What is a product feature, and how can you use A/B test to fine tune product features? 我觉得这些在大多数同学脑子里还是很模糊的一个概念，或者根本就没有这个概念。I think this explains why it's difficult for you guys to pair up your skill set、um, with the job description because you don't even know what the job description is all about. 那下面我就来教你们如何理解一个 job description. So this is a marketing data analyst position for Pin Interest. Right off the bat, I just noticed that driving user growth strategy should be the focus of your job. So basically, they want to grow their user base. So how do they grow users? There are a few areas they touched upon. The first one is to help them identify investment opportunities for growth. What this means is that it costs money for the company to acquire its customers. Therefore, your job is to find out from a marketing perspective what areas they need to spend money on to drive user growth. Right? You don't want to spend money on all the channels. You probably want to spend money on the channels that will give them the highest ROI. That's what they're looking for. And to understand product performance, why is that important? Because any company will not become a business until it has products. And in the case of Pin Interest, the product is its online platform and the different product features on the platform. Therefore, they would like you to analyze how its users are using the product. So, by analyzing the product performance, you can then give pin interest ideas as far as how can we fine tune the product features so that it'll serve the users' needs better. And if we do that, then that'll help us drive user adoption. Therefore, they talk about user behavior, right? And define metrics to grow and sustain our user base. So this has to do with designing KPIs and dashboard building. 那你在看到下面细节的话，你就知道我上面对这一个工作的理解是对的。You have to analyze marketing campaigns, right? 我前面说过 ，your job is to support marketing. Also, I mentioned it's not just about spending money on any kinds of marketing activities, but to identify the most effective marketing campaigns or marketing channels and continue doing that. Therefore, they asked you to find out and understand drivers of marketing performance. What drives the marketing performance? 这个杠杆作用是什么？所以这份工作你要注重的就是 you have to understand marketing. You have to be able to do marketing analytics. You have to know how to do product analytics. You have to know how to do user behavioral analytics, and you also have to understand how to do KPIs and dashboard building. How the companies are using the drivers, 就是这些杠杆作用来啊、uh, achieve its business objectives. 这些大的一个呃、uh, ecosystem 你都必须理解。这样你才能够写好一个能够抓住 recruiter 眼球的 resume。那今天就说到这里，希望大家继续努力。
保证自己的安全，我相信我很快又会和大家见面的，拜。